Hello Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope that you're doing well Taurus. We are in some pretty transformational energy for all of us. So let's see what comes through for you. This is a message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Taurus. Hmm. Take what resonates for you. These are general messages. Let's see what comes through for you. We do have the sun out where I'm at today, which is feels like a miracle. It's been such a long time since I've seen sunshine here where I live. First card out, Taurus, we have adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Yeah, Taurus, you're learning through ch through challenges for sure. We all are. But um, it seems as though you've had quite a bit of adversity to navigate through in this part, this part of the journey for you. And, you know, how you navigate through while still remaining grounded and true to yourself. Success. <laughs> Beautiful. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. And I feel like this is really speaking to you, Taurus. No matter what challenges, what adversity you're faced with, you bounce back to love. Bounce back to the heart each and every time. And this is the beautiful part. You understand that this always brings success when you come back to the heart. <clears throat> Perseverance. I know I can do whatever I set my mind to. Yeah, you haven't given up. You have not given up, Taurus. Discipline at the bottom. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. There you go. You're utilizing that bull, but not in a stubborn way. You are persevering, disciplining yourself so that you don't fall back into old patterns, old behaviors, old thought forms. Beautiful. While you navigate through some challenging times. Learning. A lot. I feel like you're coming to the end of a very, very tough cycle, Taurus. So don't give up. Do not give up. Always fall back to being in the heart. What else can we tell Taurus? Okay. Mm -hmm. So whatever may be challenging right now within maybe relationships, adversity, drama, I'm hearing drama from the Leo moon, especially, um, continuing to stay in the heart and pers you know, Staying disciplined to not fall back into old patterns. You're working towards harmony, harmony and balance. And that is what seed you have planted. It is beginning to sprout this uh, harmony, balance within connections. It may not seem that way on the surface quite yet. It might. There's still some adversity that you're working through. But it's definitely helped you plant that seed for what you truly, truly desire, which is harmony. Positive movement forward and deception and envy. I'm hearing Mercury. Now, Mercury is finally, just this week, out of its retrograde um, post-shadow. So the trickster in the mind where we play tricks on ourselves, where we're reading things maybe a little bit too um, intensely based off of our fear, um, 
deception. It's been very deceptive energy. There may have also been others playing deceptive roles in this game of adversity that you've had to navigate through, but there is positive movement forward and you're recognizing that. You're recognizing the your own trickster within you as well that, that re resorts back to old self-doubt. But you're perser persevering through that, disciplining the mind to not get stuck in those patterns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Under perseverance, the universe is really working with you right now to help you get out of this waiting game. Getting out of the waiting game, waiting for something to change, waiting for someone to change, waiting for something to shift. You stick to your path, what you are learning about yourself, your desires, your dreams. Stay with the energy that the universe is really bringing some supportive energy to you here. Also showing where you may have kind of um, sat back and waited for life to carry you somewhere. You're picking up on a lot more now. It's internal adjustments. Temptation, yeah. Under discipline. So you are learning to discipline your mind, discipline yourself to not fall back into those old patterns, habits and patterns, a ways of thinking, ways of acting, ways of being through this adversity. <clears throat> Even when others come in and play that trickster role for us, don't play the blame game. Don't put it on them. See what it is that the universe is showing you. What do you need to release? What do you need to let go of? What do you get? What patterns do you get tempted back into? Is it bypassing? Is it numbing? Is it fighting back? Is it trying to control things? Muse of materials. So yeah, you are in between your past self and your future self. On that bridge towards a much lighter, more harmonious place. Having the courage, having the strength to look within, deep within, to tame that ego and to continue moving in the direction of love, of light, of the heart, harmony, peace. The emperor taking charge of your life, taking charge of your mental, um, patterns positive movement forward taking charge of that trickster energy no more deception no more deceiving the mind also no more holding yourself back for others mm -hmm. Staying stuck, playing small, not being able to see exactly what's going on here. So you are, you're holding your light. You're pushing back the darkness, the dark thoughts, the dark patterns, the old ways of being, thinking, believing in yourself, in others. You're getting yourself unstuck here, layer by layer, whether you're aware of it or not. 
you're also learning to be disciplined into not falling back into these old patterns. Old belief systems. Good old familiar, right? Three of Wands. Yes. So through adversity, you are st holding true to yourself and your path, your path towards the light, the sun, taking care of your your connection to the earth, your connection to your soul, your connection towards harmony and peace. Standing your ground. Not trying to take control, but um, definitely getting re ready to walk a new path, like full heartedly. It might be the path you thought you were walking, but now you're truly committed. You're committing yourself <clears throat> to a new way of being. The moon. Oh, the moon. I'm going to get one more here uh, with the deception and yeah. The things that we cannot always see about ourselves, the subconscious mind, the subconscious beliefs, the subconscious fears, worries. I feel like this stuff is being illuminated to you, Taurus. You may be having a lot of vivid dreams. This is more of, um, this isn't the energy that, of uh, from the full moon even. You can't always see it, but it is an inner knowing, a deep inner knowing. It calls to you. It's a gravitational pull towards, you know, taking charge of yourself and your life. Also towards a fresh new start here in life. Trusting it. Almost like the fool card. I can't fully see where I'm going. I can't fully, I don't fully understand or know. Yet I trust. I trust. And uh, that brings you to success. There's no greater goal than to love. Trust that whatever message you, messages you get, whatever comes up for you, that it is linked to something deeper, something important for you, for your soul's growth. So important for you to clear so that you have this positive movement forward, this fresh new start, Prince of Wands. <clears throat> yeah. High Priestess at the bottom. It's a deep inner knowing. It's not something that you can even explain in words. Or <clears throat> it's not something that you can truly see, touch, taste. It's a feeling. It's an essence. It's what's pulling you. It's what's guiding you. It's a deep inner knowing. And the Prince of Wands, again, having the courage to continue moving forward on this path. Perseverance. The universe is guiding you. You're holding your light. This is bravery and deep inner knowing. You're on the right path. Whatever happens, happens. If you get tempted back into old ways, you're gonna know it instantly, immediately. Let's get one last message for you, Taurus. Please click the like button if you like this video. And if you're not subscribed, <clears throat> please subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. All of you that have, I don't know why my voice is going. <laughs> <clears throat> Last messages for Taurus, please. Okay. What do you need to release? You're being shown, but uh, definitely some negative self talk, self sabotage. Release all those stories. Release the need to know. Release <laughs> the trickster energy. 
prosperity lies ahead and confidence is your key to success. So whatever has been going on in this adversity with others, it may have really rocked you a bit and made you kind of doubt yourself or not be fully confident in yourself. But there is a lot of positive things ahead. Know that. Bottom of the deck, a fiery climax approaches. So stay true to yourself, Taurus. Stay in your heart persevere through any adversity that you may be going through. Be disciplined not to fall back into any old ways of thinking, old beliefs, old patterns. Old, and, and if you do, recognize them. Recognize like, oh, I see myself now. The more we are aware of ourselves, our patterns that may be um, mostly subconscious or hidden, becoming conscious of them, it helps eliminate them. So this is your message for this week, Taurus. I hope that this was helpful for you and I am sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.